Congratulations! You are now the owner of a new Powerney from Osa. This second generation bionic motorized prosthesis for above knee amputees offers unprecedented performance and flexibility for everyday activities. This short DVD will help you understand how to use the power knee properly and feel confident and secure throughout your day. We suggest you watch it more than once over the coming weeks to really master the functions of the knee and get the most out of it. For safety reasons, we ask you to follow the guidance given here and in the user manual in order to avoid malfunctioning of the knee and the potential risk of injury. And please, make sure that you are able to recognize the audible and or vibrating signal for power loss. Turning the power knee on and off. To power up the knee, press the on-off switch button at the rear of the prosthesis. The knee vibrates and a three-tone ascending beep can be heard. Then a green light flashes slowly, indicating that the power is on. To turn the power off, press the on-off switch again. A three-tone descending beep is heard and the light goes off, indicating that the power knee is now turned off. Removing the battery. First make sure the power knee is turned off. Push down the lock tab as shown. Then release the battery in the direction of the arrow. Charging the battery. Connect the power supply to the battery charger power inlet. Connect the power supply to an electric socket using the power cord provided. Insert the battery into the battery charger as shown until a click is heard. While charging the battery, the charger status light flashes green. Once the battery is fully charged, the charger status light remains a steady green. Caution! Do not block the opening of the fan while charging. We recommend that you charge your battery overnight so that the power knee is always fully charged and ready for the next day. Replacing the battery. Push the newly charged battery into place until a click is heard. Checking the battery status. You can check the battery status at any time. It doesn't matter whether the battery is in or out of the prosthesis or the charger or whether either of them are connected. To check the battery status, press the battery status button. If all five lights go on, the battery is fully charged. If only the bottom light goes on, the battery is nearly depleted and needs to be charged. If no light appears, the battery needs to be charged. If the five lights flash, the battery needs to undergo a self-maintenance process and needs to be charged. If the five lights go on in a wave-like pattern, the battery will undergo a self-maintenance process the next time it is inserted into the charger. The lights will then indicate the actual battery status. For more information on self-maintenance, please consult the Powerney instructions for use.
Battery warnings. When the battery charge drops below a certain level, the prosthesis will indicate a low battery warning by vibrating and beeping three times while flashing an orange light. The knee will still be functional, but may not be able to provide enough energy to power particularly energy-intensive activities, such as ascending stairs or standing up from a chair. If the battery charge drops below a critical level, the prosthesis will indicate a low battery error by vibrating and beeping repeatedly and an orange light will flash quickly. The battery should be replaced or charged as soon as possible. Caution. When the battery is fully depleted, the knee will not actively assist you. Maintenance. When cleaning your power knee, please use a damp cloth and mild soap or isopropyl alcohol. Never use any solvent stronger than isopropyl alcohol and never use compressed air to clean the knee, as you may cause it to malfunction and deteriorate. Never take your pani apart or attempt any form of repair. Not only will you automatically void the knee's warranty, you might unintentionally create a hazard that could cause you harm. If something seems to be wrong with your pani, Talk initially to your prosthetist or healthcare provider to ensure you are using the knee properly. If there is still a problem, the knee will then be sent to OSA for maintenance or repair. Please note that no other company or individual is allowed to service or repair your PAO knee. Finally, never ever immerse your pownee in water or any other fluid or use it in dirty environments or expose it to extreme temperatures, hot or cold. Your pownee is not waterproof. Always keep it dry. Turn the knee's power off while performing tasks which may be critical to your safety, such as driving a motor vehicle or operating a power tool or other potentially dangerous machinery. Now that we have gone through the essential safety precautions, let's take a closer look at ways in which the new Pawnee can help you live a life without limitations. Standing. Whether it is at work, rest or play, your Pawnee copes easily, allowing you to move around quickly and efficiently. The knee allows you to move in confined spaces while performing common day-to-day -day tasks like preparing food in the kitchen, getting around the shops or popping in and out of the office. Its sophisticated artificial intelligence means the knee is capable of thinking for itself. So you don't have to give it a second thought. The power knee locks and provides full support whenever you are standing and unlocks and moves freely during walking. Walking. Take the first stride with whichever leg you prefer and simply start walking at your normal pace. The behavior of the Pawnee adjusts automatically. It provides support while you step forward onto the knee, then releases as you start walking and actively moves you forward. Even when you take the smallest of steps from a standing position, when you are turning around, for example, the knee behaves quite naturally and without the locked knee feeling.
sitting down. Stand by the chair and distribute your weight evenly across both your sound leg and the prosthesis. Make sure you are putting some of your weight on the par knee. Then start the flexing movement of the knee by leaning backwards a little, while making sure that the prosthesis keeps in contact with the ground. Sit down gradually. You may find it helpful to begin by using a chair with armrests. Standing up. When you're ready to get up again, you'll need to place your weight evenly on both your sound leg and the prosthesis. Lean forward slightly and you'll be able to initiate the Pawnee's stand-up movement by putting some weight on the knee. This movement helps to give you a lift as you stand up. Walking up or down slopes. Remember, we recommend you always use a banister or handrail while walking up or down stairs or slopes. When going up slopes or ramps, you should simply walk at your normal pace. The same knee function is used to go up a slope as it is to walk on level ground. When going down a slope, you should try to lean slightly backwards, keeping your weight behind your knees in order to get the most out of the knee's slope descent function. Walking downstairs. Remember, we recommend you always use a banister or a handrail when walking up or down stairs or slopes. Take your first step down with the power knee and make sure you transfer your weight onto it. It helps to lean backwards slightly, as this movement can help the knee to bend more easily. Continue descending the stairs at your normal pace, ensuring whenever possible that you place half your foot onto the lower step to give consistent support when walking downstairs. Getting in and out of the car. Sit down on the car seat facing sideways. Turn the prosthesis off. Then manually move the prosthesis into the car and face forward. We always recommend you keep the power turned off while driving a motor vehicle. When getting out of the car, manually move the prosthesis out of the car and position it on the ground. Turn the power on, wait for three seconds for the prosthesis to detect its current position and stand up as normal. We hope you found this short film useful. More importantly, we at OSA hope that you will enjoy your new Pawnee and that it will enhance your quality of life. A life without limitations. For more information, please visit www.osir.com.